The year was 1880. Back in Toronto in those days, the annex, as it was then, was unrecognizable. It was basically farmland as far as the eye could see. Fast forward to 1887, and the annex became part of Toronto, but was actually annexed from the city itself. And it became very much its own neighborhood, its own community. And since that day, everything to do with life in the annex has become something that many would call a dream. Today's podcast is about introducing you to life in the annex. And I want to bring you there in a historical way so that you can actually understand why there's so much significance in this community. In fact, the Gooderams built their mansion in 1889 at the corner of St. George in Bloor. Over the years, it became a very popular place for the wealthy and the affluent to move in and to become homeowners and to start their lives and and raise their families in this area. Following the Second World War, a number of Hungarians, Italians, and Ukrainians settled in to give it even a more rich ethnic flavor. Some of those exact people are the ones that were the fabric of this community and made this area so very unique. One of those landmarks has a very special memory for me. Growing up in the 70s, born in the 70s, but uh, starting to discover the city in the 90s, I was able to discover, which many of you also have or did, uh, the Brunswick House. And you'll know that this was the absolute melting pot of everything that made Toronto great. So it was everything from people who lived in the area to um, college, university students, again, people all over the city, myself included, who grew up in Scarborough would go there and we would spend our Thursday nights there with friends, um, just having these great, great times, great memories. And I even actually was privileged enough to meet my wife there, which she doesn't always like me telling that story because it is a bar, but we knew we had a friend in common. It's not like we met randomly, but it was the place that I would call the place we met for the first time. So I want you to have this same experience with me in terms of discovering the annex. I don't want you just to walk into a neighborhood anywhere in Toronto and simply jump in without having the best possible storyteller at your side, which is why I always want to invite you ever after every single one of these community and history podcasts that you hear I want this to be a call to action. I want each time you listen for you to want to learn more. I don't want to overwhelm you on the podcast with too much details, but I definitely want you to make sure that you are part of this experience. So join me for the next Annex experience tours that I do. And it can start off even on a virtual level to make sure that you are comfortable from wherever you might be in the world, getting the information about this property and really experiencing it up front, close, up front, up close and personal with me. Best way to reach me, realestatepodcastshow.com or via email, paul.indrigo at c21.ca.